Okay, um, doing another video. Uh, this one's a little bit weird. I stopped off at the Mercedes dealership. This is the only car that they have that I can use. This is a 2022 Mercedes S500, inline six, 385 horsepower and like 494 pound feet of torque. It's got the beautiful ambient light that goes all the way around the dash, like in all the Mercedes that I have uh, in the 22 year. It's got the beautiful heads up display, or not heads up display, does it have one? Nope, doesn't have the heads up display. Um, the beautiful tablet style instrument cluster in the front and the beautiful tablet style center console piece. Um, it actually mounts to this dash here. I've seen the videos where they installed this. There's actually a bracket behind here, behind here that's, that's screwed into the dash. And then this actually comes out as one piece. They click it, push it down and screw it in behind all these extra panels here. Um, I don't need the fan on, so how do I do this here? Oh, that's that. Turn it down so you can hear me talking. I love this screen because it's all touch. This is the navigation system. When you're running, when you're driving in a car, and say you're downtown Chicago, you can actually rotate the uh, the car image, and um, I don't need that at all, and get a 3D view of where you're driving. It's all animated but it's very nice um so let's just hit the home button and see what we can start with here we go let's go into the settings all right like i said i apologize for this here i'm trying to do this quick before the car turns off um as you see it's got the assistance program um that is the forward collision alert so the car will actually know to stay a certain distance in front of the other car as long as this box is green you're safe when you start getting closer the box gets smaller and it changes colors um turn it off go back collision avoidance so that is if you're driving and you start drifting out of your lane this will give you a little beep and actually take the steering wheel and jerk it to the left or right depending on which way you are drifting so that's great to have that. Back in the avoidance. Uh, the active brakes, that's on. The lane keep assist, I just talked about. Buying spot monitoring. As long as those features are always on, these things are going to help you avoid a collision. Under assistance, you have traffic sign assist. It would read the speed limit sign for you. You can set the threshold. So if your posted speed limit is 40 miles an hour, you can set the speed threshold to like, say, 45. So it'll let you know if you're going faster than the post the speed limit slow down you may get a ticket so that's something nice to have on that one uh traffic light view turn it on so it will detect a traffic light if you don't say you look down at the phone texting which you shouldn't be doing and you make the honest mistake and say oh i didn't see the light changing this will give you a beep and step on the brake to give you a warning to let you know that hey you gotta pay attention to your driving <laughs> The cameras, I love the camera. Open camera cover. If you note in the back there, it says open camera cover. If you listen closely, listen. In the back there, there's a camera that's, that's, uh, that opens up and drops down. So you can actually view the camera. Um, I think it's open, is it open? Yeah, let me just go back there and take a quick look at it. Yep, right there. So the camera is open. If I press that button again, that camera will close. And we come back here again. Oh, it's still open. <laughs> so how do I close it? Oh, that's to keep open it, so I don't want it to open. All right, but anyway, that opens and closes as needed for parking. Parking assist here. You can see the P's on the on the ground. It lets you know if you got to do a parallel parking, uh, you're pulling into a parking spot. It will read the images of the cars next to you, and it will let you know if your car is wide enough to go into that parking spot. That's great to have. I just turned them off. Turn them back on. Set the tone, so, oops. You hear that distance? So as I turn it up, so there, that's an example of the tones there. Pace back. Warning. 
close this door. Sorry for moving so fast, but I got a limited time here. All right, go back to the home page, back into the settings. I think that's all. That's everything in this particular view. Go back to the home page, go into the comfort mode. Now we're getting to the good stuff. The seat massager, my seats, the seat massagers. Um, I just turned it on. You have several different features to go by. Um, you can actually select the seat that you want it to be. You, change the ambient light right now the ambient light is blue even with the sun at this time of day it's uh 125 uh i can change that let's say let's put it on red we hit it red and see it turns pinkish red it's more pink than anything so let's try to go deeper red the thing that i love about the mercedes is that it's a variable color adjustment so as you hear the noise So as you sit there and adjust it, you actually fade from the color you're looking at. Go up a little bit and it starts fading into another color. A little bit more. Let's go a little bit more than that. And I'm like, wow. So you have infinite color choices that you can go by. Then you have the brightness. And you can see everything's up on 20. I'm sorry about the light. Everything's up on 20 here. But that's just awesome. Go back to the seat massage. So let's put shoulders. Hit play. Oh, sit back. Yeah. There's an illustration of what, what it's doing. Go through it. Then we go over here. We have, oh, seat kinetics, lumbar, shoulder, side bolsters. And if you see the highlight each time I tap on one, if I do the side bolsters and I said click that up to 10 that's oh that squeezes the, the sides of the seats here opening close so you have the side bolsters you have the shoulders uh the lumbar which is these pads here on either side and the seat kinetics this one here that's that goes in and out also so let's uh turn that back down now Whew. Whew. hey we'll squeeze you and there we multi culture seats Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's basically massaging my lower back right now. So you can have pre-programmed settings when you drive. You you know, you say, Oh man, I had a bad day at work, I need stress release, my shoulders are so sore from lifting or my back hurting from bending over or, or whatever the case may be. You can hit level one. Let's see what level two does. Oh, more intense. More and more intense. Oh, it's like a, like someone gently push their foot in the, in the middle of your back and then push just a little bit harder than the previous setting. So that's uh, very nice to have. Uh, the heated seats, that's self-explanatory. We're not going to go through that. Automatic seat positioning. I showed you this on my other video where you type in your height. Uh, let's see. I'm 5'9". Let's go 5'10". And start positioning. <clears throat> Look at my feet moving. Seat's coming up for someone who's 5'9". Mercedes says this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. This should be your best sitting. Okay, if I'm 5'9 and I'm a woman, this might be my sitting. But as a man, this is just a little too high. I feel like I'm sitting in a pickup truck. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, the settings for that. And then the reset part. All right, let's go back. We've done everything there. What's next? Phone, we're probably gonna skip that because I don't want to try to pair my device to any of this stuff here. Uh, he said it'll be a little bit here. So get out of that, hit this. Uh, yeah, phone, it's, it's just simple. Pair your phone and every all your information displays up on the screen. Connect the device, if I hit that, it'll start looking for my phone. If I got my, well, I see other people using it, so let me see something here. Let me turn my Bluetooth is on. Uh, let me see here. Go into there. 